Starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Chip, that's what it is. Bad company. And all they want me to do is sell greeting cards. Now, Timmy, I'm sure they're a perfectly honest and legitimate company. If they are honest, they're not very efficient. Well, you must have been out of that mailbox a dozen times already today. You know the mailman never comes before now. Hey, now look. Lassie seems to think he's here already. Why don't you go take a look? Okay. But I bet there won't be anything there for me. Oh, Lassie! It came! I know you did, dear. Good girl, Lassie. That's using your head. Mom, can Lassie and I go fishing right now? Oh, yes, of course. Be careful, though. Okay. I'll go get my tackle. But I'll have to use my, my old reel with my brand new rod. Come on, girl. Right on. See that pool, Lassie? That's the deepest pool in the lake. And there's a big lunker there, and I'm gonna catch him with my new rod. Okay, I'm coming. Gosh, that footprint's a monster. That's what it must be. A monster's footprint. Why do you ask? Well, they're worth a small fortune. What are you talking about? Button manufacturers. They'll pay a good price for first-class muscle shells. Hey, wait a minute. What now? Look, a pearl. A pearl. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's more than beautiful. Freshwater pearls are valuable. Well, then we won't settle for buttons. Not when we've got pearls. <laughs> Dave. Do you think there might be enough for a down payment on our own garage? Oh, uh, you better forget it, honey. When the news gets out, this place will be mobbed. Well, can't we keep it a secret? Well, we can try. Right now, we better get back to town or I'll be late for work. You know there's no sea serpent or a monster. At least not in that lake. But Lassie found its tracks. 
They were that big. And then we saw it. You saw it? Well, we didn't exactly see it. But we saw big bubbles in the lake right next to where it went in. You know that pool by the big... What is it? Go on. My brand new rod. I left it down there when I ran. Well, go on back and get it. Alone? Gosh. Dad, why don't you come with me? And then I'll show you the big sea serpent tracks. And then you can see for yourself. And maybe you'll believe me then. I think you'd better go with him, dear. You know he doesn't make things up. Much? All right, Timmy, I, uh, I guess we can take a few minutes off, huh? For all, we wouldn't want him to lose his new rod, would we? Come on, Dad. Okay. Go find my rod, girl. Go find it. Hi, girl. Come on. Good girl, Lassie. Isn't it a beaut, Dad? Yeah, it sure is. Now, where's this monstrous footprint so I can get back to work? It's right over there. Whoa. You want me to go alone? No, I'll take you. It's right there. Well, I don't see anything. Except where somebody beached a boat or a canoe, maybe. But it's gotta be. Lassie saw it too, didn't you, girl? Well, it isn't there now. So I've got to get over to Creston. Hey, wait for me. Well, I thought you wanted to go fishing. Um, well, maybe tomorrow. Can't I go to Creston with you? Sure. Sure, come in. <laughs> Mr. Tanner, did you see the monster? Monster? What monster? Well, maybe not a monster, but a sea serpent. A sea serpent? Where? Over there by the deep pool. Lassie and I both saw it. And its tracks, like a giant lizard. Didn't we, girl? A sea serpent in Calverton Lake? If it were true, it'd be the biggest news of the week. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell him. By the way, when can I bring in the pickup? My fan belt's starting to part company with itself. First thing in the morning, be fine. It's a deal. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, Hi, hello, Cully. Cully. How are you? Hi, Lashy. <laughs> you going fishing, Mr. Cully? Well, I ain't going to use this to pitch hay. <laughs> then you better watch out, because there's a monster, a sea serpent or something out in that lake. And last night I saw it. Oh, I'll be careful, all right. But if I catch him, I'll fry him for supper. <laughs> <laughs> fry him for supper. <laughs> Well, that's how rumors get started. I'll see you in the morning, Dave. Right. Go on, Nancy. So Come long, on. Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Stop Park the station later. Okay. <laughs> so that's how rumors get started, hmm? What are you going to do? Be a monster. If people think there's a monster in that lake, they'll keep away. Oh, Dave. <laughs> you drive down the road a bit, pull off to the side. I'm going to make another dive. Okay. <laughs> There is a monster. Hiya, Timmy. 
Weighed 500 pounds of it weighed an ounce. Busted my leader like it was a piece of uh, sewing cotton. Uh, Timmy, I thought you was teasing me. About what? About that monster you was telling me about yesterday. But I saw it myself. You did? I sure did, and I hope I never see it again. Dad! Dad! Cody Wilson saw it, too. Saw what? The monster, the sea serpent. Say, maybe there's some truth to that rumor. Me, I wouldn't go near that spot till they find out what it is. Me neither. Timmy! Now there's a place for everything. Gee, Mom, but I gotta practice, don't I? The place to practice is down at the lake, not on your father's shirts. But I don't want to go down to the lake. Oh, Timmy, people who scare themselves with sea serpents are just being superstitious. There is no such thing. Now, if you want to practice fly casting, you go down to the lake and do it. Otherwise, don't do it at all. Oh. I don't care if that monster gets me or not. Cut them down to size. To me, to me, I got an idea. Come help me. That ought to finish him healthy, Timmy. Come back and get me a mess of fish. Me too. Uh, but I'll have to use my old rod. Well, uh, I'll meet you here, say, in half hour. Okay. Huh? One last.
The cork handle's nice. I wonder who it belongs to. We don't have to worry about the sea serpent anymore. Oh, why not? Timmy, where'd you get that knife? We found it over there where we killed the monster. Killed the monster? How do you know? We shot into the water with a shotgun, and then we rolled a big rock on top of it. And all the bubbles stopped. That's how we know we killed it. Timmy, there's no monster. It's Dave. Come on! Timmy, his leg is pinned under that boulder. I'm going down again. You go get help quickly. I'll send Lassie. You go, Timmy. Well, Lassie can run faster than me, and she'll get Dad. Go get Dad, go hurry. What is it, Lassie? Where's Timmy? Okay, I get it. Lead the way. There's only enough air left for a minute or two. Is that why there's so few bubbles? Uh, if your dad doesn't hurry back, there won't be any more. Are you all right, Timmy? I'm okay. It's Dave, Mr. Taylor. He's down there. The boulder on his leg. I can't get it loose. Did you get the boulder off of him, Dad? No, I couldn't budge it, Timmy. Timmy, get a rope. Throw one end to me, tie the other on the front bumper. Do it now. Okay. Will you take this into Dad, girl. Now, uh, Timmy. Yes, Dad? Timmy, I wouldn't let you do this if there's any other way to save Dave's life. Do you think you can back the pickup a few feet? I don't know, Dad, but I'll try. I've seen you do it. Well, be very careful now, son. I'm going to take the rope down and loop it around the boulder. When I jerk it three times, you start very slowly. Got it? OK, Dad. Paul, it really was all our fault. For being greedy. We want to thank you, Timmy. And Lassie. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here now. Well, I guess there was a sea serpent after all. <laughs> Timmy, 
The money I get from this pearl is going to go to buy you that new reel you wanted. She thanks. And this one is for Ruth, your mother, a present from you. Thanks again. No, Timmy, we thank you. And Lassie, don't we, sweetheart? Come on. Thanks, Paul. Bye. Bye.